It's the most powerful rocket NASA has ever built. The Space Launch System, or SLS, and tonight it will begin the slow journey from that hangar right there to the launch pad atop the Apollo-era crawler. And if all goes well, it will blast off for an unmanned mission around the moon in late August or early September, paving the way for astronauts to once again set foot on the lunar surface. Joining us now, CNBC.com space reporter Michael Sheets. Michael, what's the goal here for this unmanned mission, and how will NASA view it as a success or a failure? Hi, Kayla. This is all in preparation for the first full demonstration of the SLS rocket and seeks to test the capabilities of the Orion capsule. Now, we're talking about the Artemis One mission. This is an effort that's been over a decade in the making and has cost about $40 billion so far. Success would look like NASA launching the rocket, which stands as tall as a 34-story skyscraper, putting the capsule in orbit around the moon for about a month, and then returning it back to Earth. If NASA pulls all this off, it would pave the way for NASA to return astronauts to the moon on a mission that's tentatively scheduled for 2025. But it's not the only one trying to do this. The SLS moving to the launch pad is just one being developed for space travel. SpaceX also has its Starship rocket. So what's the difference? That's a great question. And the two rockets actually have a very interesting connection. They're very different in a lot of different uh, ways. NASA is, uh, solely owns and operates SLS, and each rocket is a one-off, meaning it's expendable and goes into the ocean after each launch, whereas SpaceX is privately developing at Starship and has the goal of reusing them, kind of wanting to make them the 747 jets of space. But the connection lies in the fact that they're both for NASA's Artemis lunar mission, with NASA having awarded SpaceX with a $3 billion contract for that mission that I mentioned earlier, which would see Starship deliver those astronauts effectively from the Orion capsule down to the moon's surface. Quickly before we go, there have been uh, the Artemis program has been over time, also over budget. How realistic are the current goals? Honestly, the timelines have been pushed back several years but already, and NASA's internal watchdog has warned that this program may cost as much as $90 billion before astronauts step foot on the moon, and that 2025 goal looks increasingly unlikely due to a variety of technology delays and different pieces of the puzzle that need to come together for all this to happen. An important thing to keep in mind, though, is the relatively small budget of NASA as a federal agency compared to most. They have and really be working to make sure that SLS can get this program rolling before it's too late.